where that piece of wood is mounted is going to become a hammer rack. On any given work day, I've got this, that, and the other thing all laying about me. This is close to the end of my work day and close to the end of this propane tank. I've already fullered and punched holes on both ends of this piece and now I'll finish it out. This is an old hardy tool that I dug up, an anvil saddle, or just a bottom fuller with a very wide radius. I've made this with the ends just a little bit wider because it's just below my air conditioner and so that should just give me a little bit more flexibility. In maybe my next video I'm going to maybe use this piece or this piece here to focus on making uh, Anvil Hardy top and bottom fuller just something simple for those who maybe don't have a guillotine tool. This is a rounding style hammer that I'm working on in conjunction with a machinist. I'll show that as well in an upcoming video. This is the first prototype of my rivet shear and wasn't very successful but I'd like to repurpose this steel in yet another video to make another style of cutter from these parts. This is the first version of my rotary shear, and this has been very successful. I use this constantly. This here is the final version, which I've had for forever, and I haven't gotten around to finishing it out. So that will be still yet another video. I really appreciate you watching and I'll catch you guys next time.